The day started out is that when the seniors were done with um, classes, so they had kind of left to take finals, and so a bunch of the teachers and some of the leftover like juniors and sophomore students, we all kind of pooled a big group of people together and went into the gym and played kind of a game of dodgeball. Doug retreated to the baseline on the far corner away from me um, uh, towards the baseline, picked up a ball, and started running back towards half court. At some point during the game when I kind of bent down to pick up a ball, I must have passed out and just face planted forward on the ground. He was bleeding pretty bad from his face um, at that point. Um, you know, blood was running out of his nose or his mouth. He was struggling to breathe a little bit. His pulse was thready. You know, when you would take it, it wasn't hard. So I knew I had to do something at that point, and so I tried to give him a, a few rescue rests to get him moving right away. I was the only one who had defibrillator training, and um, but I'd never used it. The defibrillator read the um, it read his vitals, and that's when it said that shock advised. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> I, you know, you just don't think somebody young and healthy and you don't think that's going to happen. I can remember looking up at Bruce when it said shock advised and a nanosecond of, oh my God. And he, I had my hand over the button and he pushed my hand down. <laughs> uh, and it delivered the shock. At that point, um, Bruce was, uh, had been delivering CPR for at least three or four minutes, and so I took over. We just kept going until the EMTs were there. I think if I could have sat down and handpicked a group of people to be around me when this happened, I would have never been able to pick a better group of people than the people that were just randomly there. I think Bruce, Bruce was a hero that day. I, he really responded quickly and got things rolling. It's not about me, it's about the process, it's about uh, the people that were involved, the team of people that, that took place, because there's no way that if I was the only one there, there was a million other things that had to happen for him to, to be walking into here to do the interview that he did. You know, I wouldn't be here right now without all of them. I mean, they, you know, everyone played a maybe a bigger or smaller part, but they all kind of worked as a big team and, and did all the things they needed to do. I happened to be there. I happen to know what to do. But there were so many, so many people who did important things, and I think anybody would have done exactly the same thing.